And right now tonight, all new since 6 o'clock, they found the leak. But now the real work is beginning after a water emergency is declared and still underway in Brandenburg, Kentucky tonight. Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Prophet. Thousands of residents are without water in this Ohio River town just to the west of Louisville. But then some encouraging news just after 7 o'clock tonight. The mayor posting on the city Facebook page that they found the break on Old Eckburn Road near Stuart Pepper Middle School. That's south of downtown Brandenburg. Right now, city leaders are working quickly to repair the line and restore pressure. WHS 1119's Taylor Woods and photojournalist Ian Hartwit report on the residents scrambling to find water. Gallon after gallon. But I mean, got to take care of my newborn, so. Thousands of Brandenburg residents are without water due to a water main break. Many of them are left wondering how they will get any water as they have family to take care of. He's going to football camp and you know, no shower, we're going to have to do something. We've got to make a plan for him to get a shower. <laughs> a local emergency has been declared for the city of Brandenburg. You know, if this is going into an underground cavern, we may not be able to find it for a long period of time because it's just not going to surface. But then some good news. Shortly after, seven crews found the leak. Everyone is still being told they can only use water for essential services for the next 72 hours, and they've asked the state for more water bottles. And they are contacting the governor's office to try to get those wheels in motion to hopefully have us some water here, uh, hopefully in the morning. Residents have been coming to the city's town hall with their water buckets. Brandenburg police have been assisting the people with water. Brian came immediately after he found out the city was giving out water. Got to hurry up and go get it. Nope. Probably a lot of people's gonna come here today. So far, they've given away a whole trailer's worth of bottled water, and once this runs out, they have more on the way. But this isn't the first time the city has had a water shortage. We were out for a water a good time back in uh, I think it was around Christmas. Yeah, right? December. Something like that. Homes to local businesses and restaurants. Everyone is feeling the stress of empty faucets, especially Huddle House. As you can see, we're we're um, operating just as call-in orders and to online to-go orders only. The flow of business has been affected drastically. The tables and chairs inside are empty, but they are keeping it clean as possible with proper sanitation. We have water in jugs in the in the building and we're operating with it's the health department standards. The restaurant was given bottles of water and soft drinks. However, everyone is remaining hopeful this local emergency won't last too much longer. Hopefully it don't take too long because I mean, you know, other people got, you know, stuff to do, people to take care of. As they wait for more water to start rolling into the Ohio River town from Brandenburg, Taylor Woods, WHAS 11 night team on your side. And the head of the Meade County Emergency Management Office, Jason Graham, told us tonight that they are hoping that a repair could come overnight. But if, if it does happen, that's no quick fix. If they do get the water flowing, a boil water advisory would certainly have to be issued for safety reasons.